I'm 53 this year. <laughs> Okay. They will see like, oh, this guy is like, is he going to be able to do it? Is like a 53-year-old person will be able to do this kind of technical stuff. Seven years ago, I was a taxi driver. So, and seven years later, I'm still a taxi driver. So, I'm, I'm getting like, you know, more and more bored. So I decided to make the change. I was initially afraid, worried about my age. Would I be able to cope with like someone like uh, younger? But I found out actually it's not really true because if you apply yourself right and really study some things right, and you really understand it, uh, you are actually about at the same pace with a lot of people. The key thing is that you must have a passion for what you're doing why I chose Generation Singapore is because they have a six months apprenticeship that was actually valuable and because of that six months or something like a real world example it helped me to gain my position at my current job right now I know what is going on and how to uh, do certain stuff and what one thing that I like about the program is just that it's not only about uh, programming the soft skills are actually very important so I'm using it quite often uh, in my current work. The generation team was actually quite good. They, I see that they are working behind the scene quite a lot in uh, securing for the mentors, uh, securing for the jobs, for the apprenticeship. The level of um, work that they do is, is quite tremendous. When I apply for the job, I always tell people like, hey, even though I don't, I don't really have that much uh, experience, but I told them, hey, actually I have a lot more experience in dealing with projects, in training. And I think that that is what that got me hired in the first place because I showed them that, hey, even though there's this shortage, not really technical skill, but I still have other skills, I can bring value to the company. I highlight all these things that I've done. I'm quite adaptable or I can easily pivot to any industry that I want. Right now, okay, I'm very happy because this is what I've always wanted to do. The, the funny thing is that after I graduated, I recommend my son to attend the course as well. <laughs> Sometimes you feel like giving up, don't. Commit to it 100%. Don't like have some doubt. Don't be afraid to be wrong. We have to like constantly learning. There's all these new methods, new ways of doing things. You must persist. When you set your mind to it, nothing is impossible. I wish someone told me this 30 years ago. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>